Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So for this week's Sunday surprise, I'm using my makeup collection and I've made this little, well, I'm, I've actually designed it kind of following my own makeup bag. So I have a black and white makeup bag and it's got a silver trim on it. So I've used the holographic, but it's a makeup bag or handbag card. So you just open the top here and then it opens up and then inside you have space for your message. You can also pop a gift card on this side here. I have made one of these before. I've got a slightly different size and design and I'll link that one up now. So if you like that style, but you can turn this into, you know, so it's more of a masculine mate. You can make it into like a backpack. You can do lots and lots with these styles. It's really fun, but I thought I'm going to have all my makeup on the outside there. Got a glamorous friend, you've got a little handle and then it's got its stand there. So it stands up really nicely and just such an unusual looking card. Very easy to make. So let me show you how. So this is actually take two. I actually made this card all the way through and realised I didn't hit record. So you can imagine how I felt afterwards. So I literally quickly went through and had to colour everything again. So, you know, it's only the second time ever that I have made a whole project and realised I didn't have the record on. Anyway, so today you're going to need one piece of 11 by 6. Along the 11 inch side, you want to score at four and a half, five and a half and six and a half nice and easy there and then you want to fold the first score line so it's a mountain the middle one will become a valley and then the last one again will become a mountain when you burnish them try not to burnish them both together because you'll get markings so just flip it over and then burnish like so and then if you open that up and burnish that one if you squash it like this and burnish you'll get a line coming through here but now you'll have something like that. You can already see we've got the bottom of the card. Then I've got this piece here, which is going to go on the front. And I've embossed this using my zigzag embossing folder there. And that's a piece of four and a half by six. And I'm going to stick this piece right onto the front here. And then I've got this piece here, which is six by two and a half. Along the two and a half side, you want to score at one. And this is for our flap fold and burnish and that is now going to go over the front like so and then for the handle which is optional but I think it then does really turn it into that handbag look you only need one which is a piece of six by half an inch and this one I've already done but I just wanted to show you here you want about and you want to have about an inch and just bring it over and towards yourself and you want to create a right angle here. You need that to be a nice right angle so it's nice and straight and then if you pop that in your scoreboard butt it right up so it's nice and you know it's in that corner again nice right angle and then you can bring this one over and bring it down until it looks the same and that way not only is it straight but you've got the right amount you can see now you've got your little handle okay I've then got this piece which I've already stamped which is to go on the front of the flap and this is six by one and a half. The holographic strip is half an inch by six and I've just stuck that along the bottom and then I've stamped Glamorous Friend and I've used the Glamorous Friend here at the bottom of my Let's Hear It For The Girls stamp set. And then I've also got this piece which is going to go inside and this is five and three quarters by four and a quarter and I've stamped the Happy Birthday there and then I've also used the lips from the makeup set. And that's then what I've also used to stamp and color all of these images here. For the glasses, I just stamped them and then you've got the die, you can die cut it and then I just paper pieced the middle part in the holographic mirrored card there. And then I actually hand cut just a circle in the middle of the mirror and then I just added the mirrored card there. So that's all the scoring. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna stick this piece onto the front and then this piece on the inside so that's where I'm going to have my message if you want to do another mat layer here and then have somewhere you know where you want to put your gift card you can do so actually I'll stick this one down first okay so that's the embossed piece on the front and then my message inside and then with this one you just want to add your glue on that one inch tab and then you're going to stick this behind this one here just give that a minute to dry 
and then I'm going to grab this one again add some glue onto the back and I'm now going to stick that right over that front section so you'll see that that piece will come down over the front there so whilst that's drying I'm just going to add a little bit of glue just to the bottom there and then I'm going to pop this behind you just want to make sure that you don't go too high with it because you want it to fit in your six by six envelope so I think that's about centered As you can see how that's stuck on the back there and now that will come up and that will come over and you can see we've got a cute little bag there next I've got my velcro dots so I'm just going to take two sets and pop one at that end and one at that end fold that down flat and then you can just close that over and now you can see you've got your card really easy and it's easy for the person that you give it to to know what to do as well because they're going to know automatically to lift that up then i'm going to decorate so i have all these pieces i'm literally going to copy that because i love it so much and i was only ever meant to make one so i'm just going to pop it on high speed i'm going to stick it all down it's all on foam and i'm going to add some glossy accents there as well there's the card all finished you can see I've got the glossy accents just drying they're quite cloudy at first but when they dry you can see how they dry completely clear there and I just love all the shine from that and then again the shine from the mirror card when it catches the light I think it looks really cool and then you can just open up the velcro and you've got all that space inside I probably will put gift cards in these as well if not I'll just do another nice pattern piece of paper there and you can hold it just like a handbag it stands up really nicely and then it folds flat and that will fit into a six by six envelope or you can pop it into one of my box envelopes and I'll link those now as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's Sunday surprise video. As always, I'll link as much as I can in the description box below. I will also link up the tutorial for the other size of this one that I've made. So you might want to watch that next and I'll pop up another tutorial using this product as well. So you've got some more inspiration. If you've enjoyed today and you haven't subscribed, if you please hit the subscribe button, hit that little grey notification bell, that will go red and then you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll be back again soon.